So this tutorial is on the uh, reflow oven in the Pick and Place Lab at Southern Poly. And the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure the, the fume extractor here is placed just above the door jam. So when you open the door, it sucks all the flux out. And the flux is the smoke that you see coming out of the oven, uh, unless you put something you weren't supposed to in there. And you're going to want to make sure this emergency stop is pulled out, just give it a twist, and pop on the breaker. And then it'll start doing a warm-up cycle. So here's a typical reflow profile. This one is for lead-free. Uh, the lead-free profiles are usually at a higher temperature and uh, can take slightly longer. So here, this is in Celsius and seconds. So about this time, the first minute, the flux gets activated at around 100 degrees C. Then we go through the soak zone, and then when it ramps up to the reflow section of the profile, you can see the lead-free solder is going to melt somewhere around 219. And so it's going to spike. Uh, I'm going to have it set for around 240 degrees C, uh, and then it's got to ramp down in a uh, fairly quick method. So this is the, uh, all profiles look the same, similar, just some are a little longer, higher temperatures, lower temperatures, and again, this one's for lead free. So here we just turned it on, and it's going through its warm up cycle here. Right now it's uh, currently at 88. Uh, there's different menus, there's not much to it. Uh, if you want to reset it to start it over again, just start it there, but it's the same temperature. So here you can set the mode you want to do. Uh, currently we're in the oven profile. You can do a hot bake or nitrogen. This machine does not have nitrogen on it. Nitrogen in the air while it's baking uh, provides a much better solder joint. Um, you can go to the hot bake and now here's the bake menu. And if you want to go back to the oven, now that has appeared. You can go to the nitrogen one and you have nitrogen parameters, but we do not have that. So we go over to the oven, which is the one we most care about. So the preheat, I'm gonna preheat it at 150 degrees. That would be my soak temperature. And that is what the profile showed. And about 180 seconds is where it started to ramp up again to go to the next temperature. The next temperature, I'm gonna peak at 240 degrees C. There's obviously a ramp up and a ramp down the total time with that ramp up, ramp down, and plateau is about 120 seconds. After 120 seconds, after the 180 seconds, uh, the alarm will go off and then it's on the cool down phase. So here we are now, the oven says ready. It's at the uh, preset temperature. So we're gonna take our board Open the door, pull out the tray. You want to set the board in as centered as possible. It doesn't make that much of a difference, but might as well. And as soon as you shut the door, it's showing low here. But as soon as you shut it, it starts the timer. So now it's on preheat. Okay, so here we are now on the cooling, and to cool it at the right temperature, all you do is open the door, make sure the soldering uh, fume extractor is above that, and you could see all the solder flux smoke get sucked up into there. And then, after about a minute or so, it should be ready to take out, and nothing will move. So now the uh, board is cooled down to where uh, we can take it out now. And 
nothing will uh, come off even though it's still very hot. Then we just shut the door, let it get back up to the start temperature again. And then once this temperature here gets up to the start temperature, we can put our next board in and start the process over again.